Now to this other story that we've been following here at CBS this morning. People living near some air bases are expressing concerns after the EPA detected toxic chemicals that may have seeped into local drinking water. Chemicals known as PFCs are in things like some nonstick pans, stain-free carpets, and cleaning supplies. Well, they have also been a main component of firefighting foam used at military bases and airports, and they are associated with health problems like cancer and low birth weight. Barry Peterson is at Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado Springs with the residents' concerns. Barry, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Well, here at Peterson Air Force Base, they know the contamination from this foam has seeped into the water supply, and they're working with the communities to clean that water up. But for people who've lived here for years, who have been drinking that water for years, there's real fear that there's something dangerous in their bodies. Do you ever think like, this danger right down here, like down right there where the water is under the ground? It, uh, it's always in the back of my mind of what's, what's lurking down there. Because, For 25 uh, years, Dan uh, Cruz delivered mail here and water. drank the water. And, uh, then came cancer, thyroid, prostate, mm -hmm. testicular. He says never before seen in his family. I'm the only one that's been diagnosed with cancer, not once, not twice, but three times. People on my route, cancer has come upon them, and sometimes it's stage four. The cause could be firefighting foam used since the 1970s at Air Force bases and airports across the country. Something meant to save lives that may have harmed them instead. The foam contains highly fluorinated chemicals known as PFCs. It is suspected of causing some cancers in underweight births. I like how quiet it is. Micah Ulam has lived near Peterson Air Force Base for a quarter century in a town where the foam has contaminated the water. She almost died. Um, several times. Sadie was born premature, weighing a mere one pound, six ounces. She spent 94 days in a neonatal intensive care unit. That's the first time I got to hold her. Mm -hmm. Sadie is one of three children born to Micah. Four other pregnancies ended in miscarriage or death. With what you know now, do you think any of this has to do with the effects, potential effects of what's in the water? Possibly, yeah. Why? Because if you continue to pump poison into your body, something has to respond. Peterson is one of 190 Air Force bases where PFCs may have leached into the ground and surrounding areas. One study based on EPA's test results show as many as 6 million people may be exposed nationwide to PFCs in their drinking water at higher levels than the EPA now deems safe. But more than 60,000 people in the communities near Peterson Air Force Base may be America's hardest hit. The EPA says anything over 70 parts per trillion could be dangerous. Some water they tested here had over 1,300 parts per trillion. And according to a proposed class action lawsuit filed against the foam manufacturers, it has caused serious medical conditions in hundreds of residents. One foam manufacturing company, 3M, says there is no merit in the health claims, adding they sold these products with instructions regarding their safe use and disposal acted responsibly at all times and will vigorously defend this lawsuit. But the Air Force has taken action, spending more than $4 million to provide bottled water and filtration systems. Air Force firefighters now train with water, and for real fires, it uses a different fluorinated foam, still containing another type of PFCs, but believed to be safer. But some of those who have studied the new foam say the Air Force may have traded one evil for another. Arlene Bloom is a researcher at the University of California, Berkeley. Our chemical regulation system makes us all guinea pigs because chemicals are assumed safe until proven guilty. And they go out in the world and we are exposed to them with no health information. Mark Corral is Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Environmental Safety and Infrastructure. Is it possible that you've replaced this with something that could still have a long-term problem down the road? I've got to rely on the Environmental Protection Agency and on the health agencies to tell us whether or not that's going to be a problem in the future. But for now... We're going to treat it as if it were any other hazardous material so that we can prevent contamination in the, in the groundwater and in the soil by cleaning it up immediately. Why would you do that if it's deemed to be safe? And what we're saying is these still are chemicals that are, have potentially toxic side effects. Dan Cruz worries that more illnesses may lie ahead because of something as ordinary as a drink of water. If 
someone had told you this 25 years ago and you had never had any of this water, do you think you'd be healthy now and not going through these cancers? I think I would, uh, would have been perfectly healthy. I don't, I don't believe that I would have uh, gotten any, any of, the, of the cancers at all. The $4 million being spent here at Peterson may just be a down payment on the problem. The federal government is studying military bases around the country to find out just how far, just how bad this contamination might be and how it might affect millions of people. Biana? Reporting, reporting there, Barry, thank you so much for that.